Hi everyone and welcome to Fashion Toolbox. This video is an update on a previous recording that I did on the auto convert to face in Clove 3D. This has now changed to the AI Avatar Studio and the process is quite a little bit different to what it was before. So this is from the latest version which is currently 2024.2.214. And I will be walking you through the process in the latest version. So let's get started. So one key thing to note, the biggest change that happened since I did the last tutorial is that the function is no longer under the avatar menu anymore. It is now in your render window. So before you do anything, you have to have a rendered image for you to apply the AI to. So if you go into your render window, just up here, that will load up another window, which just sits over your 2D pattern window, just here. And then you need to choose all of your settings and everything that you would to say about your image. Choose your background, choose your outfit, choose all of your image settings under your, under your image properties and then you can render that out as an image. Once all of that is done, you can then enter the AI Avatar Studio, which is just this tool here. And here is where you can generate all of the prompts. So to start off, it will load in the image that you've just rendered. So as long as you have done a render, it will show here. And then you can choose all of your prompt settings. So now we have female, male, boy and girl. So there's much more options than there were previously. I'm going to stick with female. And you can select the age. I'm going to stick with around 30. I am going to keep this Latino ethnicity, but we have got many options in there. And then you can either drop in your own prompt or you can ask AI to auto generate, which is just this little function here. When I select on that one, it will automatically give me a prompt that then I can generate. So you just select your prompt and then click on generate. You will be put in a queue while it loads, it doesn't normally take too long and then it will bring up the option for the face. So usually it is better to have a front on view. This one is a little bit questionable. <laughs> it's a side view, but I'm going to generate anyway and let's see what it looks like. So again, you will be added into a queue and there you can see it has generated the face. It also changes the skin tone and all of the detail of the body so that it looks more realistic. So it is much better than what it did before. It is, it's even dealt with the side on view of the face, which is really good. Um, say I wanted to try a different prompt. Let's drop another prompt in there. I'm going to just use a prompt that I have set up earlier and I can give you some key things that you should consider when you are dropping in your prompt. So the key things to consider are things such as, gosh, the general appearance. So you've already entered the gender, the age range and the ethnicity. There are you three key things which are all at the top. And then in your text prompt, you can consider things like the facial structure, so the jawline, the cheekbones, the chin shape, the eye shape, the size of the eyes, the shape of the eyebrows, the nose shape. So is it straight? Is it button nose? Is it a wide nose? The size of the nose and the bridge of the nose as well. All really good things to consider. The mouth shape and the lips shape as well. And you can even add in little prompts for the hair um, as well, which it does normally consider. So I've put a little prompt in for the hair here. So let's see what it comes back with. Let's generate. So here we have the latest face generation, which it has also considered that I've said a dark auburn hair, which it looks like it has. So now I can click on the generate and add that to my image again. 
and there we have the latest generation. Once you are happy with that, you can click on save. Just going to save this quickly into my downloads. Let's give it a file name. And I will load that up in a larger size so we can take a look at that. So here we go. So there are some issues I would say with the hands as is standard. We can fix that by popping it into another AI platform to fix the feet as well as you can see are a little bit of an issue. It is important to note this is still in better mode. So they are constantly improving this and hopefully it will get better. But from a distance, it looks pretty good. And we could solve the issue with the feet by adding shoes, the hands we would probably need to solve by utilizing another AI generation software to sort that. So that is that image. You can also upload your own image. So if you wanted to create a version of you, perhaps that can be done. So I will see if I have any images of me that we can do a test on. So I wanted to do a little test here and to see if it would work with my hair covering my face and I'm smiling in this image. Normally you have quite a straight composed face with nothing covering your eyes but this actually worked just fine so i just uploaded him in an image i've got some other options here so we'll test this one again so that i can show you the whole process click open it will load into this window here and then once you click on the generate at the bottom it will go through the whole process of adding your face or whoever's face to your avatar and then it will do a replica of you so i'm going to download this image again to show you how it looks so let's label this one as three and it has brought out a few of my features. I'd say it doesn't look exactly like me. The hair is a little bit questionable, <laughs> as are the hands and the feet again. But all in all, it looks pretty good. And from a distance, I do think it gives that look. Like I, I could think from a distance that was me, but <laughs> um, not maybe not so much close up. So it is really, really promising uh, function in Clove completely different to the settings that it was before. You don't get to see it live in your 2D window anymore. It's only on the renders. So you have to have your render, you have to have it uploaded, and then you have to apply the image or the prompt generation to that render. So those are the key elements to consider. Okay, so I hope you found this update useful. Please like and share the video if you did and ask any questions that you have in the comments. I would be happy to help. See you again soon.